Well, look what Daniel 9.24 says. It says, a period of 70 sets of seven has been decreed for your people. Who's Daniel's people? You'll have to speak up. I think it's the mask thing. Not us. Who was it? Who's your people? It's the Jews. It's Israel. Your holy city. That's clearly Jerusalem. There's no mistake in Daniel's mind that when he received this prophetic promise, Daniel was thinking about the Jewish people. It's for his city. But when Christ, the anointed one, came and was cut off, he wasn't just cut off by the Romans, was he? He was cut off by his own people. John says this, Jesus came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. You see, if we believe the 69 weeks timeline that it ends on March 30th of 33 AD, the exact day prophesied by Daniel 9.25, he came to the Jewish people, he came to be their Messiah, he came to bring in everlasting righteousness. He fulfilled the promises of Zechariah 9.9, riding on a donkey. But the Jewish people rejected Christ from being their king. Remember what Jesus said after the triumphal entry? He said this, When he drew near the city and saw it, he wept over it, saying, Would that you, even you, had known on this day the things that make for peace. Jesus says, there was something you were supposed to know this day. This day was for you, but you didn't know it. Now, but now, because you've rejected it, they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you, because you did not know the time, watch this, of your visitation. The time that the anointed one would visit you. You didn't know it. And he's prophesying the destruction of the temple that we saw in Daniel 9.26 and fulfilled in 70 A.D. You didn't know. You see, Jesus was not just cut off by the Romans, but also his own people. Remember what the Jews said when Jesus was put on trial before Pilate? Pilate said, I'm innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. And this is what the leaders of the Jewish people said. His blood be on us and on our children. And on our children. The Jews did not accept their king. and said they trusted in Caesar. And as a result, according to Christ in Luke 19, the Jewish temple was destroyed. But the story doesn't end there. You see, the whole, we forget this. The whole Old Testament was written really for the Jewish people. But something happened when they rejected Christ. And Paul writes about it in Romans. Romans 11. Through their trespass, that is the Jewish rejection of their Messiah, salvation has come to the Gentiles. That's you and me. We are the Gentiles. When Israel rejected their king, he became available to the whole world. Now that was a mystery in Daniel's day. You know, we, we weren't even allowed to worship in the temple unless we had undergone special circumstances. There was an outer court for the Gentiles. We didn't have the same dietary laws. We didn't have the same practices. This is what John teaches us. Jesus came to his own and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. That's you and me. That's good. All who believe in the name of Jesus can become children of God. We were not part of His special people. Now we are His people, as prophesied in Hosea. Through faith, everybody can become a child of Abraham, have their sin covered, and experience eternal life. 